What's good everybody? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Zamir from XCC Tunes. In this video, I'm going to be talking about Cubase 12 and Studio One 6.5. So previously, I made a comparison of Studio One 6 and Cubase 12. So I'd like to continue that series where I'm going to compare the automation of both of these doll. Okay, so I'm still using Cubase 12. Uh, I haven't updated to Cubase 13 yet. So today I'm going to be comparing Studio One 6.5 with, with Cubase 12. So without further ado, let's get started. I fired up my Cubase right now and I'm going to go ahead and add a sample. Let me add this one. Here. Okay, so it doesn't matter what sample I'm going to use because all I'm going to do today is just comparing the automation. So in Cubase, it's really easy to automate. So all you have to do is you have to press this right, the W on this channel, and you can start automating pretty much anything right now. So all I have to do is just hit play, and I can automate this stuff here, right? And I can automate the channel level here. If I have any plugins, I can also automate that let me go to channel strip and yeah, enable this and this parameters. So if you notice, the moment I touch any of these parameters, you can see this automation lane already created for me, right? I don't have to manually come and open this or which I can if I want. But as soon as I start automating those parameters, I already have this automation lane created for me so which is really really awesome All right and you can see this parameters here again eq gain eq frequency eq on eq gain eq3 gain eq frequency and then there's the uh, compressors attack compressors threshold and also the ratio right all of this is being added here and I also automated the volume, which is right here. Okay, once I've automated this, all I have to do is just disable this W and play. Okay. So if you want to rewrite any of this automation, you can just click on this W again and hit play. Then you can automate this stuff like so right so as long as you have this right enable every time you move something move some parameters or the levels or the panning or anything like that it will create an automation for this track so this is really really easy and you can also temporarily suspend these automation by clicking this button here on top or you can disable this R and even though you can see this automation lane but when you play it's, it's not gonna read the automation right so when you disable that everything on this EQ is gonna get disabled as well so if you want to have this automation lane pops up the moment you start writing the automation you have to go to this settings button here go to settings and make sure this is checked reveal pr parameter on right so if this is disabled right let me close this lane okay I'm gonna automate the pan right now so I'm gonna click on this right and I'm gonna hit play now okay now I've written the automation for the pan let me hear it see so since I don't have the reveal parameters checked, you don't see it pops up right after I automate. So you have to go and manually find the automation. So let me, you can come and click on this and you can look for the pan. Yes, this is the one. So the pan left and right is, is enabled. However, I have to come and look for it manually, but I prefer to have this enabled so that every time I automate something, it's going to pop up for me. All right. So that's a simple overview of how you can pan in Cubase. So let me show you guys how to automate in Studio One. 
Okay guys, so I've already fired up my Studio One and I'm going to show you guys how to automate in Studio One. It's very simple as well, just like in Cubase. But there's a few extra thing that is very interesting to do in Studio One. So I'm going to go ahead and, and find some samples. Let me get this one. Yep. Oops. So there are a few ways that you can automate in Studio One. So currently there are no automation enabled for this audio track however if I press A it's gonna give me this display of button and then if I click on this drop down menu it's gonna show me the available parameters that I can then automate so I have this volume pan right and definitely I can add more I'm gonna show you guys in a second so when you press A it's gonna turn on the automation and then when you click on this button and choose the parameters that you want say for example volume you can then automate this one the volume and then you can also automate the pan like so okay okay and then if you click on this button here it's gonna it's gonna open the automation lane just like in Cubase right so you have an option there whether you want to see the audio waveform like so and then also you can have the automation track just below there that's useful and if you want to automate the plugin, let me just add some plugin here. Room reverb, right, that's fine. So let's say I want to automate this length. What I can do is I can press Alt A. Now I can see these parameters where I can automate the length of this, right? And also you can click on this drop down menu to see that parameters. So it's, it's really handy where you don't have to click on anything to enable this. All you have to do is just just hover your mouse over this and then you can press alt a to have that parameters to have that automation lane for that parameters right and in in order for you to have this feature enabled you have to go to this drop down menu and you have to make sure that this mouse over is enabled all right so now we have seen how to automate the track how to automate the plugins and if you want to write automation like in cubase you can do that as well you can go to the mix console here and then you can click on this button down there and you can choose to write so now when I hit play okay so now I have automated the, the volume of this by writing on it right so I'm gonna press A to see the volume uh, no so I just wrote this and I can also click on this drop down menu to see the automation that I wrote so let's write another automation by panning right so here we go I'm gonna hit play okay, you can see that it writes the automation in the track itself and now if I want to turn off this write I just have to go back to read okay, now studio one will read these automation that I just wrote okay so that's a comparison of how you can automate in Cubase and Studio One. So the difference between Cubase and Studio One is Cubase is more straightforward when it comes to writing. I can just press write and then just writing whatever the knob or faders that I want to automate. So I don't think any difference between Cubase and Studio One in terms of automation except for that hover part which I find really interesting because I don't have to click on any of this knob to enable that feature I can just hover over it and press alt a to have that automation lane created for me and then I can work on it this is really interesting right this is another feature that I would prefer if Cubase would have <laughs> all right so that's it for today so thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys in the next video